with some uh, additional artillery coming in there, try and slow these guys down. They're being spotted from here. And uh, this guy actually ends up being a no-shoot, which is a bummer, but that's okay. It's part of the game. Okay, so this is interesting. These guys just, you know, we lost a, a step here, so they're eliminated. Then I rolled 10 here, and I only had two steps left, but it says the target is eliminated, and which, I mean, I guess that's everybody. That's all five uh, steps, well, three that were left. So that was painful. That's three tanks. That is just a bitch. Okay. So let's do the artillery over near Goncharovo, and we had a, a bad uh, bad shoot here. Uh, these guys hit the money, and we're going to roll and do uh, the target hex first, and then go around around the rows one through five. <coughs> I'm do the same over here. Got smoke here and smoke here, so I didn't have limited choices in terms of who we could shoot at. But I, I want to get rid of their mortars if I can. So we'll see what happens. Well, we didn't inflict much damage, but we did manage to paralyze the mortars that were causing problems with ish laying smoke, and we paralyzed and suppressed all these guys here. So uh, our little our little chappy here lives to fight another turn. I mean, he won't be assaulted this turn, uh, I hope. <laughs> well, the rocket attacks are a little bit more effective this time than last time. Uh, put five steps of pain on and I've just got to do uh, morale checks now. So that was, wasn't too bad for the Soviets. That's the only decent thing that's happened to the Soviets except uh, some minor success near Starkovo, which we'll check out in a minute. 